Have you ever wanted face tracking in War Thunder? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to do it for free. This is a really cool method I found online, which means you can do face tracking for absolutely free with no additional cost, not having to buy any expensive VR or eye trackers or anything like that. And all you need is just an existing webcam and some software, which I'll show you how to download and set up. So you can have something like this, where you can look around, right? You can even look, zoom in, look around at your instrument, instruments all all for no additional cost this was actually a really cool thing i found out through a tiktok account that explained how to do it by using a webcam as your phone so i'll just explain how to use a normal webcam and i'll show the account at the end of the video in case you want to know how to do it on your phone so let's get into the uh, tutorial okay so the very first piece of software you need is called open track i'll have it linked in the description this is the software in question now open track is a head tracking software for Windows, Linux, and Apple. And with it, you can use it in various games, not just War Thunder, but also in Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, IL-2, Sturmovik, all those like sort of first person air sim sort of type games, you know? So what you need is after you go to the link in the description and you're on this a link, this tab will pop up and you just need to go to releases and the newest open track release latest, this one, click here and then click this one, Windows 30 to setup.exe click this it'll start a download and this is the sort of the download thingy so you double click to run it and you download the software it should be like a pink octopus i have down here it should look like that and you can oh, do a desktop shortcut or choose the installation folder all of that i won't download it since i already got it on my computer so i just cancel the download real quick because it's very simple easy to go through so once you get that we will need one more piece of software which will actually do the tracking because this is sort of the tracking for the game but since we're using our webcam we need a sort of additional kind of plugin for this software and for this software we'll use ai track so what it does is it uses a camera like a webcam and uses an ai to map your face which will track the direction you're looking so here we will go to releases and then go to alpha versions 0.7.1 or just the newest version and then download ai track version 0.7 7.1.zip it'll download the zip file which will have all the files in it so after you download that i already got it downloaded i will show you how it looks on my computer so it's a bit more clear but after you download it you put it in the place you want so so for example here i've got the ai track version 0.7.1 on my pc i got it on my new ssd and this is how it looks after you extract the zip file it'll have a folder called ai track and it'll have all the necessary files here no need to download anything other than the zip file and all you have to do is double click to run this app this will then pop up now in order to first set up the whole tracking we'll need to run ai track first because we want to you know set up our webcam tracking after you start it and this pops up you can press enable preview and it will show you your webcam and everything is tracking but in this tutorial i won't show my face because you know this is you know <laughs> yeah i don't do that on my channel after you press start tracking your webcam should switch on and now it should be tracking everything your face is doing whether it be looking in different directions blinking or talking because it maps up your nose your eyes your mouth and the general shape of your face now in order to configure it you can press stop tracking and go to configuration now here we want to use remote open track client now what this does it basically makes it so you can connect it to your wi-fi you put in a port port default is 4242 but you can put anything you want here i would leave the default ip as it is when you start up because literally if you press this or if you remove all of this and then press apply this is literally the default so if you want you can change this port uh but that doesn't really matter as long as the port is then same in the open track software as i will show you in a little bit so let's just say it's gonna be like 6969 or something you know you press apply and then it's saved like this you can close this off and you can reopen it to double check yep everything's right fine and you can press start tracking and it should work at least this part now what you need is your other software which is OpenTrack. Now, after you download OpenTrack and you have a desktop shortcut, 
shortcut. This is what will happen when you pop up. You'll have a little pink octopus and all of these tracker data and all these inputs, outputs, etc., etc. Now for you, it'll just have a neural net tracker or one of these other trackers. What you need is the UDP over network because like we set up before, we put the little port thing so we can connect it via Wi-Fi. You can also see it has the Toby Eye Tracker, Steam VR, all these other things which you can connect. But for this one, we just need this. So we click this and it should be set up like this. So let's click start tracking. Now it's tracking my face and then we can press start on open track. Now, as you can see, it is actually tracking my face. My face is mapped to this little pink octopus as an example. So if I look around, it looks up and down, left and right, just like that. If you have the preview enabled, you can see your own face and you can see in real time how it's being mapped. Now, if that doesn't work, that's because you haven't configured the network yet. Now, if we go here, we can put in the port, which is I put 6969, just like AI track, which means that it'll connect to this through your Wi-Fi and then it'll be able to track perfectly fine. So now that you have this setup, very easy setup, just literally just download two things and then just press a couple of buttons, put in two numbers. You can actually start up War Thunder and try it for yourself. After you do this, you have to make sure to start up War Thunder afterwards, because if you start up War Thunder before it, it won't be able to detect the game. So it won't be able to start up the actual, you know, the software. So yeah, make sure to do that. Okay, so now that we're in game, let's go ahead and go into a test flight. Before we configure or change any special settings, let's see if this actually works. Easy way to test out just to make sure that it actually Actually tracking and as you can see it works perfectly fine now if you're actually testing it and you have some specific issues like if you look up and it actually looks down or if you look down and it looks up or when you look backwards and it zooms in or if you go forwards and it actually zooms out there's some easy fixes for that just have to do some configuration which I can do in a second let's just fly around here you can see it all works it is extremely useful for the game mode simulator battles since you can go ahead and look around without needing to use your mouse or anything like that since you're using your mouse to control the aircraft or if you have a hotas you can very easily just go ahead and do some things it also works in third person but it's not as cool because it's a uh, quite a strange <laughs> sensation really Okay, so now that we have tested it and actually works, let's go into the settings of the actual OpenTrack software. Now here we have a button called Options and Mapping. Under Options, you can go ahead and put in some global shortcuts. I would recommend binding the center button because if you look away and you wanna actually center the screen, so you're like, oh my God, I'm actually looking at the plane, press this and it'll center it back here. So if you wanna actually just look forward, but it's tilted, press this, easy fix, very important. I would use this. Now there's a toggle button so you can switch it on and off on the fly. It's not necessary, but I would still bind it as it is pretty nice to have so you can switch it off whenever you need to look around and then switch it back on. Very nice to have. So these are the two ones I would recommend getting. Under output, like I said, if you have a pitch or the Z axis being reversed, you can press the invert button here and it'll invert the controls because I had the issue of looking up and then the guy in the game would look down so inverting it would actually make it correct. Same goes with the Z, so the depth or the Z, the depth of it. So if I look forward, it would zoom out, even though I wanted to zoom in because I go closer to the screen and closer to the instruments. So inverting it fixed that. These are the only two things I actually needed to change. So other than that, that's actually should be all right. Now, when it comes to the mapping and you want some actual more, like you want to look to the left and you want it to look more, then you can go to mapping here. Mapping shows how much input goes here. So you just mess around with the settings the higher the input the higher the value so i could set it in here so that at the maximum angle looking to the left it would go to the maximum value which means that since you're using a head tracker and not a vr headset you would need to still look at the screen so it would be useful to have if i look to the left and still have a full line of sight of the screen but it would look to the left maximum in the game so that i wouldn't have to actually physically turn away from the monitor so this is very nice i would recommend tweaking the settings for all these 
these so you can have a smooth gameplay experience now this was the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions put them in the comments down below and i'll try and answer as many as i can i'm no expert like i said i just found this cool software and thought i would share it with you because there is not a single tutorial out there which explains how to do this because this is really cool absolutely for free as well so it's a pretty pretty cool piece of software so i would like to take this moment to thank all my channel members for supporting me and my channel and also check out the tiktok account that i learned this from they have a slightly different tutorial because they use their phone as a webcam so if you don't have a webcam and you have a desktop pc but you have a nice phone with a camera you can use that instead thank you so much for watching if you want to support my channel and everything i do then like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video